Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. Good to be with you today. Very excited to have you on the show. Uh, you guys had a phenomenal year in 2021. Congratulations on all your success. We're really looking forward to what we can expect here in 2022. Hopefully another fantastic year for Vox Royalty. I have a few questions for you. My first one, you had some big news. Vox just acquired one of the largest mining royalties in terms of GEOs under royalty in the last decade, 50 million ounces in resources. Can you go through this news for us and what it means for Vox Royalty Corp? Yeah, this was absolutely a center of an acquisition for us. It is really significant across what I believe will be generations. Um, wow. This royalty was previously in production. Uh, it's operated by Sabani Stillwater, which is a $10 billion major uh, that has immense experience in operating assets like this. Uh, and the, the growth potential of this asset, what it means to the company, the added GEOs under royalty uh, that it brings to our business and to our shareholders is really hard to, to overstate um, where we stand right now. But just a very, very significant acquisition. It's Phenomenal in terms of what it represents in terms of the partnership with the seller. Um, they looked at Fox. They were able to de-risk their position a little bit, but keep so much upside um, in a vehicle and opportunity like Fox. They obviously have um, very, you know, have, have bought into how we're creating value for our shareholders and our business and how that continues to project out. So this is really what I believe is a generational acquisition on a royalty um, that we believe will eventually pay for generations. Wow. Sounds like a great acquisition at fantastic value, operated by a 10 billion major in Sabania Stillwater. I believe they have in there a two to five year plan to bring it back into production. Can you tell us what it would mean for Vox Royalty? Yeah, it's, it will be hugely significant when this asset comes back online. You have to recall this asset, you know, and this is what we do. And we've been talking to our investors and prospective investors in the street for a long time in terms of how our business model operates. What we do is we start with a database that's really leading the industry in IP. It, it gives us 8,500 different royalties uh, that are held by third parties to look over and, and look for great assets and have great royalties where we can find terrific value. Um, and with assets that we believe are going to have significant catalysts ahead for our shareholders. And so this is one of those types of assets. We've been working on this deal for a very long time. And what this does for us is it has kind of all the hallmark signs of an asset that is expected to come back online. It was that previous producer, as I mentioned, 2008, 2009, went out of production because you had platinum drop from around $2,000 an ounce to around $200 an ounce. But the metal prices from where it went out of production have gone up that whole basket. So platinum, palladium, rhodium, um, and gold in aggregate in terms of this commodity matrix is up 7x. Uh, and so we've seen Sabanye start to release studies and talk about studies about bringing this project back online. So it's an absolute stunner of an acquisition for our shareholders. The value is immense. Um, and when it comes into production, you know, round numbers where it was previously, you would be talking around, call it $1.3, $1.5 million of revenue. Um, but with how they're looking at attacking this and bringing it back online, more mechanized mining, kind of bigger upside production scenario, also higher metal prices than what it was in 2008, 2009. You know, you're, you're looking conceivably at $3 million revenue um, per annum for, for generations. And so it's something that for us was key for delivering to, for our shareholders, which was big upside, big growth at the right valuation. And not many royalty companies have been able to deliver that in the recent past. Congratulations on all your success. And we want to really talk about some of the key highlights that you guys have achieved and your accomplishments in 2021, because it really was an amazing year for Vox Royalty Corp. In calendar year 2021, Vox finished the year over 50% higher than the GDXJ as a benchmark and outperformed all known listed public royalty companies. 
That is extremely impressive. Vox was up approximately 30%. So let's talk about Vox's 2021 highlights. Vox investments started paying off handsomely in 2021. Exponential quarterly revenue growth over year over year, 350% from Q3 2020 to Q3 2021. That's staggering, resulting in 2021 revenue guidance being doubled in mid-year. From there, you guys are going from one producing asset to five producing assets with three more assets expected to come online in 2022. Exponential growth, substantial growth, more than 170,000 meters drilled by operators on 18 different Vox Royalty linked projects, with that number expected to increase to 200,000 meters over the next year, increasing the likelihood of further discoveries for Vox Royalties. In addition to that, new expanded resource estimates and new royalty link discoveries, more than 50 million spent on drilling and hundreds of millions spent on development by project operators, asset de-risking via three economic studies released on assets and five more expected in 2022, additional independent research coverage added by Laurentian Bank Securities in November. So more institutions coming on board, looking and putting up publications on Vox Royalty Corp as well. Project operators financed all of these developments and progress without a penny of further investment by Vox. That's just outstanding. This is the kind of risk-limited exponential upside exposure that best in-class royalty companies generate. So with all of this success in 2021 and now leading into 2022, we've got a lot of value and Vox grew exponentially in the revenue column in 2021 as well, and has continued its disciplined approach of seeking great royalties at great value. And I know that that's one of the things that our community loves. You guys are all about quality. And Vox is leading the way in return on invested capital amongst its peer groups by a wide margin. So congratulations for that as well. So my last question for you is, with such great highlights in 2021, what can investors look forward to in 2022 and beyond after a banner year in 2021. Yeah, I appreciate that, Rich. I mean, we've been working very, very hard for our shareholders. We're very aligned. Management owns about 16% of the company. So, you know, we, um, we have the benefit of that complete alignment of interests. And we believe that we've found um, the systematic approach to creating value for our shareholders. And that's really, you know, in two respects. One is the fundamentals of this business. Um, how do we continue to deliver those fundamentals? The revenue growth has been um, very significant, clearly. That's underpinned by the, the growth in producing asset count. We expect that to continue to grow and revenue to grow with that. We're also obviously increasing our exposure to resources in the ground and what we expect to be coming into production and what we believe is a near-term time horizon. This Limpopo acquisition does just that. So systematically, I believe that we're finding value in a very competitive space better than any royalty company. And I think we validated that approach to the street and to our investors. And so with that, you know, we're also managing, we didn't touch on this, but this acquisition um, from the royalty seller over the Slimpopo royalty, they took our stock and they agreed to a two-year lockup. Um, what I think is highly significant is, you know, they see the upside in Vox. They believe in our business plan. They believe in our systematic approach to finding and creating value for shareholders. Um, and that lockup, what that means is, you know, we're not uh, exposed to a situation where there's a lot of loose paper floating around in the market. We are doing our best to watch the fundamentals on, on both the business side of the equation and the stock side of the equation. Um, and I think we're really doing that very, very well for shareholders. So what does 2022 look like? It's a lot more of the same, but I think it's going to be even a bigger and better year for us. You're going to continue wow. to see the fruits of those efforts continue to pay off for our business and for our shareholders. Um, we are, you know, as we as we mentioned, we're looking um, and working on a Nasdaq listing. We expect that to happen plus or minus a month or so around the first half of the year. Wow! And so, you know, we're doing kind of all the things, the small things and the big things. I believe very, very well in executing at a high level um, to reward our shareholders with the fundamental value 
that we have as a company. And so it was a white heart, white hot, uh, excuse me, white hot start to the year in terms of an acquisition. I knowing what we have in the portfolio um, and knowing what we have in the pipeline, I can't get into extensive detail about what we haven't announced yet. Um, but I'm very optimistic about how the business continues to grow and present um, value for our stakeholders. So I believe 2022 is going to be a furtherance of what we've already delivered in 2021, which was industry leading growth in pretty much every capacity. Wow. Can't wait to see how 2022 unfolds. Congratulations on all of your success in 2021. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, Vox Royalty Corp has been a great pick for our community in 2021. We believe that this trend will continue in 2022 and beyond. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Box Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Rich, always a pleasure. Thanks for having us on and looking forward to coming back. Love to have you back on the show. We love speaking to you, Kyle. Keep up the great work. Uh, continue all of your success in 2022 and beyond. Guys, put Box Royalty Corp on your radar, on your watch list, VOX in Canada, VOXCF in America. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a nice day.